I think it's it's basically creating a bridge between how we operate and how computers operate because it is difficult to interact with computers sometimes, especially like if you're into coding and things like that. Everyone looks at code and is like, that is a far cry from what I'm used to in my books or my conversations with people. That doesn't look like the same, but artificial intelligence spans what you know and what the code mm. knows and what it does and it can just build a little bridge you know to get you there in a way that's more uh familiar to you but then but talk, still makes sense <laughs> then talking to an ai i find is very much like talking to someone with a very high level of computing <laughs> knowledge um, and low social that, skills they, yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly yeah, that, that, yeah. That, that's exactly how i feel yeah. like talking to a coder yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You, it. You've got to be so defined in your task. Yeah, and you've got to really, really define it well for 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 it to generate something meaningful. Yeah, and that's again. I think as time goes on, we're gonna. If humans are gonna bring anything out of this as a you know like shining star, whilst AI takes over everything else, it will be creativity in the sense of like the thing that pops into my head is like dance like we'll just we'll look at dance even more in awe because you're not going to catch an ai slipping into a, a robot and dancing in the way that like a really creative interpretive dancer can do um because they use feeling and emotion and like raw something from the bottom of their heart that you just can't replicate like you can film it and digitize it but i think if there is like a shining light it will be these amazing like forces of creativity that come out of people that you just can't expect an ai to come out with just mm -hmm. randomly the best the best case scenario is that all the repetitive tasks and stuff get handed over to ai and humans are just left to be creative yeah because that's the only, like you said, yeah. that's the only thing that's left yeah if they can take away like well they already are like factory workers mm. and that sort of thing at the moment mm. but you're taking it a step further you know i don't know making social media posts for example it could yeah. like eventually be able to do that sort of stuff with a bit less creativity but yeah and it will just leave humans to they'll they'll do all the work and we'll be able to be creative and i think if companies don't exploit AI or technology in the way that they have been, it could be so good because even if you think about like a supermarket, right, all of their jobs, the people that work there being taken away because the scanning and the bark, you know, the totting up of the numbers can be done by a computer, but they're only, the jobs are only taken away because that's profitable. They could have yeah. just said, oh, okay, all the scanning's done by computers now. Everybody that works here can just walk around and have a chat and make the customers feel better and make sure they know where everything is. Because, like, even I find, like, going around the shops now, there's no one there that works there. Like, maybe they're not on the tills because the till's a machine, but it doesn't mean you have to get rid of everyone's jobs. They could be going around just, like, asking everyone if they're having a nice day. But that's not how business they don't, works. So. Yeah, but they don't. So that's not technology's fault. That's companies no, seeing an opportunity to reduce costs. And so the jobs disappear. But they could just be transferred into something more human. And so that humans still have jobs. There's still something that a human can bring to a, a, a grocery store that is full of computers doing all the hard work. It's just that we choose to... Well, we know what humans take are for those in, jobs away. In, in the supermarket. They're to, f they're to ultimately give Grant permission to, <laughs> <laughs> to check like, if you're like, Oh no, not. it's red. So, yeah. <laughs> and then a human comes over and, and yeah, but I mean, eventually you scan your ID, wouldn't you? Yeah, eventually it'll all be it'll all be little robots roaming around the aisle saying, "Oh, it's over here. You don't have to ask," you know. But it doesn't mean that it's not technology that's. Um, taking away everyone's jobs it's that companies are seeing opportunity to say oh we don't need people in this 
store anymore. People cost money. But it's not to say that it wouldn't benefit everyone involved to still have people there. You've, have you seen the Amazon Fresh stores? Yeah. 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 There's like two people working in them. And yeah, technically that's all you need. But, you don't um, have to check out. You just pick it up and walk out. Yeah, I guess people don't argue so much with that because it started that way. It wasn't like, oh, there were 10 people working at Amazon mm-hmm. Fresh and then they took all their jobs and yeah, left yeah. only two because but it only like started. people will follow that eventually. Yeah, and that's why people get upset because, oh, you're changing what used to be so good and there was a nostalgia, whereas the new things, they don't have to abide by that. They're just like, well, we're Amazon Fresh and that's how we do it. It's, it's like, computers all the way. And seen, no one really argues that. Have you seen that. Black Mirror? Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. The, the problems that technology causes. Then what it, Black Mirror is really good at highlighting how it's not that it wouldn't be useful. Mm. Like nothing's, when you boil things down to purely utilitarian mm. modes um, yeah. of existence and stuff like that, like there's, n- there's n- little value created in i don't know a person helping you with your shopping or something like that but at some human level Mm. and emotional level it's very very different and it's probably so unnatural from our way of being yeah that i think a lot of people have mental issues with that transition but i think it will happen so it's a dark future (laughs) (laughs) no it's definitely different Mm. Yeah. Thanks for watching this clip of the Education Lounge podcast. If you want to watch some other clips, click here. If you want to watch the full episode, click down here. Please like and subscribe as it really helps our channel. The Education Lounge podcast.